we don't need our background plan anymore so I'm going to select the blue L1 that's going to turn that off and we have a standard style and if we select our roof and in the properties of it we can right mouse click and go to the properties tool palette and we can change that style name from standard to 1 by 6 fascia but we do need to alter how this uh, roof trim has come in. You can see these roof trim pieces have all come in. So what we're going to do is select the roof, right mouse click, and go to edit roof style. Within the eave trim tab, I'm going to change this five and a half inches to a half inch, as well as at the soffit, I'm going to change that to a half inch. I'm going to do the same thing in the rake trim tab, change that five and a half to a half, and the same for the soffit. And once I have all that done, I can select OK. Now I have my roof modeled out. And if I want to see all that together, I can go to the Model All and select my entire roof, right mouse click, select the object viewer, and use my view cube to see this house. You will notice that I do have a little hole right here above that window so what I'm going to do is select this wall right mouse click select roof slash floor line select modify roof line and then select A for auto project select my roof and enter and that has brought up my wall to the bottom of that roof if I want to verify that I'll just select my model select the object viewer and select. Now you can see that that wall has gone all the way up to the top underneath the uh, roof gable.